All right, uh, we got this uh, 7039 chassis in on the bench now, and uh, I've done a preliminary check on the IFs and the power transformer. And what we're going to do uh, now is replace the electrolytic capacitors and uh, the power cord and we're going to give it another quick once over to see if there is any other uh, issues with any of the components touching or shorting or whatever and then we're going to do a power up on this and see what we get out of it if anything so stand by let me get that done and we'll be right back okay we got the uh, power cord changed out and we got the uh, capacitor the electrolytic capacitors uh, changed over uh, put on a terminal strip in there and linked in with the original wiring to the can uh, one thing I noticed about this can, I was wondering what the heck this band was on it. It looked like regular wire, but it is wire. It's baling wire. <laughs> they had it bail baling wired in there to the chassis and everything, and I'm surprised it was even, uh, wasn't shorting to anything. Uh, I didn't realize that until I clipped it and got pulled it out of there and seen that it was piece of bailing wire on it to hold that can inside the chassis there so now that we've got that done I've done a preliminary check on the uh, power transformer and the uh, two IFs and they are okay a check a preliminary check on this uh, antenna coil it's still intact uh, we'll test the uh, the uh, oscillator coil in battle uh, so now let me get this thing turned up my phone uh, is doing another number on me again this morning uh, uh, when when I let this thing set idle and I got the camera loaded up even though I'm not doing a video I don't have it engaged or uh, turned on to record uh, it just drains the battery so I went to pick it up and I got about 30 seconds of a video on before it went down on me and it's about a 28 percent so I'm gonna let this thing charge up for about 30 or 40 minutes or so and then we'll come back and we'll do a uh, power up on this thing and see what it's gonna do so stand by okay we're all set up now I uh, got the antenna what's left of it, uh, antenna back, uh, propped up and connected into the tuner uh, and into the back port on the back there. Uh, there is one uh, lead missing. Um, it goes to the uh, it goes to the shortwave plate antenna we're going to see if we get anything on the AM band though. Uh, we're not going to worry about the short wave because if it comes in on one, it'll come in on the other with very little prodding. Um, these tubes I was noticing are got a little bit of use on them. I think it's this is a pretty high mileage set. Most of the silver tones I've noticed are are pretty high mileage sets. I mean, it must have been a daily driver. Um, uh, our uh, needle is not going to move because the string is all unstrung and uh, all tangled up and everything. So uh, we're probably going to have to tune it from the tuning drum here because this gizzy, uh, floppy, wonky thingy uh, is. Uh, is donkey so um, we got it on the uh, dumb boys uh, we're going to bring it up on the 75 water alone sorry for all the banging and the bonging and the fonging the speaker um, 
uh, we're going to, it shouldn't be making a noise, if anything. I've checked the uh, field coil on it and the output trance, and it is good. So we should get some response out of it, and then we'll get around to reconing it later. Bring that up. She's coming up 30, 31, 29, 29, 28. Uh, there are no lamps because the bulbs are burnt. Still doing 29, 30. 31, 32, 32, that's probably just about going to be it for that. I, I'll have to spin up the other ball, but I wanted to make sure that we don't, uh, we don't have any issues. Okay, so, uh, We're not getting anything. So what we got is a tube dead. Somewhere. I don't see any glow from... I see glow from the 6 volt tubes. But I don't see any glow in here in the rectum fire. So give me a minute and we'll make a check on that real quick and we'll be back. Okay, we're back. Uh, I, I checked all the tubes. Uh, one of the output tubes was shorted. Uh, one of the either the detector I think it was the detector it might be the it might have been the inverter one of the two I didn't track which one and I pulled the socket out of um, it was um, it was open uh, an open filament on one of them so it, I guess it wouldn't matter if it was a filament or whatever uh, both IFs uh, checked out um, first detector checked out uh, IF checked out uh, the RF was um, was was barely there I think and uh, let's see the oscillator the J5 um, I'm thinking there might be some issue with that uh, it checks good but it's I had to thump it a couple of times in order for it to get to, to get some kind of response out of it on the tester uh, so it will be adequate enough to make a check to see whether or not we get anything as as a matter of fact I'm not sure if I have a a replacement for that. Um, I have I have it in a G style tube, but it's going to require a shield. So um, let's go ahead and uh, fire it back up again. We're going to bring it up on both bulbs. Uh, I found out what was wrong with those. Those there, this one was kind of winking at me. And so, what it is, it just needs to be the the base on the on the on the thing on the lamp has to be tightened up because it's not making good grounds. So uh, we got slight lamps on the thing. It's pulling 550 calicams. Uh, the uh, hot side, the high voltage is pushing about 279 on pin 6 of the rectum fire. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we got 
I'm getting a little bit of something from the speaker. Okay, we should be in the AM band. Uh, I'll have to tune it from here. Okay, we're barely getting anything. No. It could be a little bit of the speaker, but I think it's mostly the capacitors now. Uh, we are getting something on the AM band on our local station. Uh, 550 milliamps. Uh, we might get a little bit more out of it if we go and bypass the uh, the dumb boys yeah so we're gonna do a recap uh, we're getting some something out of it uh, I believe we'll be able to do uh, we'll get a lot more out of it when we go through and trash all the cats so stay tuned on the next adventure <laughs> we'll be back for more so thanks for watching